वेलकम बैक टू कैट कैम ट्यूटोरियल इन आवर प्रीवियस ट्यूटोरियल वी क्रिएटेड दिस एक्सरसाइज नंबर हंड्रेड एंड वन नाउ वी आर गोइंग टू क्रिएट ए टू डी ड्राॅइंग विद द हेल्प ऑफ थ्री डी मॉडल आई होप यू लाइक इट सो लेट स्टार्ट टू क्रिएट दिस सिंपल मॉडल एंड यू विल लर्न हाउ टू मेक दिस सिंपल टू डी ड्राॅइंग इन आवर प्रीवियस ट्यूटोरियल वी क्रिएटेड दिस सिंपल एक्सरसाइज नंबर हंड्रेड एंड वन एंड हियर वी क्रिएटेड दिस सिंपल मॉडल पाइप विथ फ्लैंच now we are going to create a 2d drawing with the help of 3d model so if you drop down the menu of this you will get option make drawing from part even in same option you will get in file if you drop down click on file and you will see option make drawing from part once you click on the parts it will redirect you to the solid works drawing interface now here it is asking you your sheet size if you uncheck this one only show standard format so there are too many formats if you check only show standard formats so there are many a1 to a4 size a0 to a4 size so a3 our standard and we will keep a3 size okay now this is the our size paper size now in your left hand side you will see too many options for a drawing view so i'll choose this front view drag it here i'll select okay now if you go to layout there are too many things standard view if you click standard view select this part and you will automatically get three options three views so but we don't want this one so even though this things applies in many cases now the other things is model view if we click model view you have to choose the view or browse and click okay then it will comes the same model here so we don't need this one now section view let's even though we can make projected view also but we will try section view i'll select this point see cutting line vertical horizontal three points two points but we will keep vertical because we want vertical click on center point and drag here okay now we don't want this view flip direction now see is going to show the section view in this direction okay even though if you want dimensions for this click import annotations design annotations include item from hidden feature and you will get maximum drawing options here now there is one more option projected view if you click projected view i'll select this one this is bottom view we want top view so you just click click on top view say okay now let me drag to the bottom side now in our uh, previous view we already selected the annotation so that's why we are getting annotations here if you will not uncheck this one it will not come here but anyhow the dimensions come here so let's define the manual dimensions first i'll come here this is the section view now just go to sketch dimensions now let me define the dimensions this is 60 if you want to keep inside arrow that's it center line i'll define a center line up to here go back to the point and see it will automatically convert into arc click here and you will find one center point anywhere somewhere this line red line
tangent relation here also we need to define tangent relation a smart dimension define this dimension it's 75 millimeter enter escape and click this line and make relation vertical okay a smart dimension okay in the same way you can define all the dimensions here now here we defined some dimensions already we skip some steps 80 millimeter okay now here uh, we have one more options Now, if you saw in annotations, you will get one option center mark. Put center mark here so that it is easy for us to define dimensions. See, this is very important things. Okay, now here one more option center line. If you click any two lines and you will get one center line okay now let's define this properly now a sketch and i'll define this one a smart dimension and this corner R50 that's it here one option whole call out now here we have two holes here also we have four holes and this 20 diameter hole 20 through hole even though you, you you can write here four number of holes see now even though we have one option note simply click and write your things like two number of 20 dia for diameter what you will choose you will get one option here add symbol see two number of 20 diameter hole let's say okay that's it this these are the two hole center mark and you will get center mark here it is so easy a smart dimension now if you go to ladder and you will find here this arrow is upward side
click inside and you will see this error direction change okay so that it's easy for us to define the things now let's define some more dimensions like center point from this then distance from here to outer edge okay now let me little take down unit change okay so this this is the perfectly we defined now let's come to this one okay now here if you want to uh, we did not define this one perfectly so there is one more option like detailed view click detailed view and select somewhere near to which portion do you like to highlight and drag and you will get one option just drag it somewhere near here okay this is you will see the detail b sex scale 2 is to 5 now you can separately define this dimensions okay this is small things you can define inside itself so no need to make congestion there see this is the simple way now here you can drag isometric view you can drag and keep somewhere where you like to Now click on say, uh, isometric view, high quality shaded view. Here we forget to add key. Hold shift key and select at the bottom. Now the same dimension from here to this line. Okay. Now even though you can whole call out. four number of hole this is so simple okay so this section is defined now if you click this one detailed view here select anything broken like broken circle or uh, anything this one is better broken circle b now if we select all dimensions just go to other and choose your layer format so that you will get all dark black color that's it now let me define some dimensions right here all dimensions in millimeter
you can choose this one bold tilt Now let's add, add, edit this. Right click here and click edit sheet format. Now double click on the title and let's write here pipe flange. Okay. Now note click on finish. And here write a steel brush. And write here in material section. stainless steel you need even though a scale also you can one is to one so these are the simple thing you can simply change in format sheet simply click sheet exit from sheet format now here see we added few things now here we forget to add some circles hold circle click from here to this point and click here for construction purpose okay now let's define now let's keep this diameter inside okay and click this diameter inside now i'll choose these two dimensions other i'll change font and uh, 2.5 millimeter i'll keep font okay now see now here we forget to define chamfer there are so simply go to annotation choose note and click on this edge And here you will define 2 into 45 and uh, you will get option degree from here okay even in the same way you can define in all places this is the simple example those who want to learn how to create 2d drawing with the help of 3d model in solidworks i hope you like it don't forget to share like our video and please subscribe our channel for more video and more projects in solidworks Thanks for watching.